We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to the Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Simon Lingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that wood heating pollutes the air in mountain areas more than previously assumed. Sunk between the peaks, peaceful sloping roofs poke gently from the snow-white floor. Tiny flecks of amber lined up in rows against the whistling sounds of winter's cool approach. Morning mists come out to play, caught beneath unseen sheets that lie in wait across the grooves. Elevated air now caked in dust, a crown of soot to wear for keeps. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Atmospheric Chemistry and Physics, which has found that mountainous villages are significantly affected by the pollution that comes from burning wood as fuel. The marketing of wood as a carbon neutral fuel, alongside the rising prices of fossil fuels and the cost of living crisis, have all led to a significant increase in the use of wood as an alternative fuel source. According to the European Environment Agency, wood combustion now accounts for over half of the small particulate matter, or PM2.5, pollution in Europe. Wood burning also creates black carbon, also known as soot, a harmful carcinogenic pollutant that also needs to be monitored carefully. Previous air quality studies of PM2.5 and soot have largely focused on cities. However, given that approximately 20% of Europeans live in hilly and mountainous regions, these clearly also need to be carefully monitored as well. In this new study, researchers attempted to measure the impact of wood burning on the air quality in one such rural location, focusing on the Slovenian village of Retcha in the municipality of Loski Potok. This village is in a hollow and is representative of many mountainous and hilly rural areas that rely on wood heating systems in central and southeastern Europe. By using two fixed measuring stations and mobile measurements taken using instruments inside a backpack, Data was collected over December 2017 and January 2018. Overall, whilst air quality was found to be moderate during the entire study period, several high pollution events occurred in which the concentrations of soot and PM2.5 matched those of large cities with heavy traffic, exceeding the World Health Organization's recommendations for the daily limit. These high levels of pollutants were found to be attributed to one effect that frequently occurs in the mountains in winter, temperature inversions. In the morning, the sun warms the upper parts of the atmosphere faster than the lower parts, due to the morning fog that forms in a hollow and which is then sheltered from the wind, preventing warming near the ground. This temperature inversion then acts like the lid on a pot, preventing exhaust gases and particles from escaping upwards and causing them to concentrate at the bottom, where humans become exposed to them. The results of this study highlight the importance of high-resolution air quality measurements for monitoring and assessing the impact that wood burning has on local air pollution, especially in mountainous areas that are prone to temperature inversions. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Sunk between the peaks, peaceful sloping roofs poke gently from the snow-white floor. Tiny flecks of amber lined up in rows against the whistling sounds of winter's cool approach. Morning mists come out to play, caught beneath unseen sheets that lie in wait across the grooves. Elevated air now caked in dust, a crown of soot to wear for keeps. In 
this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Meeting the Mountains by Gary Snyder. Gary Snyder is an American poet, essayist, lecturer and environmental activist. Born in 1930 in San Francisco, he's published numerous collections of poetry and prose, including Myths and Texts, published in 1960, Turtle Island, published in 1974, which won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry, and Axe Handles, published in 1983, for which he received an American Book Award. Snyder's many accolades include an American Academy of Arts and Letters Award, the Bollingen Prize, the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize, and the Shelley Memorial Award. Snyder was elected a Chancellor of the Academy of American Poets in 2003, and a recipient of the 2012 Wallace Stevens Award for Lifetime Achievement by the Academy of American Poets. Meeting the Mountains, by Gary Snyder. He crawls to the edge of the foaming creek. He backs up the slab ledge. He puts a finger in the water. He turns to a trapped pool, puts both hands in the water, puts one foot in the pool, drops pebbles in the pool. He slaps the water surface with both hands. He cries out, rises up and stands, facing towards the torrent and the mountain, raises up both hands and shouts three times. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.